Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 481 in Best Fiends. This is called Glass and Cannons. We haven't had glass in a while. We haven't had these metal crates in a while. Our goals is, goals, our goal is just to open these 12 metal crates. But it can be tricky, especially based on where they're placed. And of course, we've got Slug Sludge. So we've got these cut -its. It makes a very small board. This is where we need to get these crates to fall, anywhere in here, so they need to slide out. But we need to make room first. It looks like there's a very specific pattern, so I'm not going to be able to adjust by looking for a new setup. But I do have these um, switching, um, well, they called them cannons. I always called them Roman candles. But uh, it's helpful because it hits things like, here, I could do this, and it sets off that Roman candle. But because I have these now on alternate settings, I'm going to do this. It hits this Roman candle, which then comes across and hits this Roman candle. So I'm going to try to keep that going because it does so much damage in here and allows us to try to free those crates until I get to the point where I can't hit either of those. This is the one I would want to hit. But I can't make any moves over here. We've just got things that we need to clear out. And sometimes luck is going to be with us, and sometimes not so much. So now I'm getting these back on the same kind of schedule here. But I think that they'll alternate still. If we can get through. Yikes. Let's take that chunk out. There. Now I can do this. Now it's not going to alternate. It's going to hit it this way. This, however, is getting very close. The question is, do I just drop it down with this yellow, or do I come around here with this red? Does that do anything significant for me? Not really. I'm going to go for the yellow. I need to start collecting these so I can get more on the board after the ones I have are collected. But I do want to get a... Ah, oh, stink. Well, that's not bad. That bomb is going to help us with those glass cubes that are there. So I'm using up that bomb right away, but I think I'm okay with that. I like that all right. And then the glass cube breaks when it hits the metal. And now I want to try to hit this again, which would hit this. I can't. I really do think that's one of the best approaches. I need bombs, though. I need to free these guys. Why do I not have Whisper. I think I want Whisper here. I think I made a bad choice by not examining which fiends I had available. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bomb from Moose. And I'm going to shoot at these corners if I can, which means I have to kind of hold on to things, so I don't want to get rid of the bomb like that. I need to hold on to it. So, I'm going to do this much, bring this bomb into a better position. And then if I hit this, it's not a big deal, right? Because I, I didn't put that red, I didn't leave it in a position that I could use. So I have to readjust it and bring it back up somehow. That's going to be tough. Uh, I like that. Look at that, I'm using the Roman candles to help out. Okay, still can't position the red where I want, but look at this, we've got things going here. So I can do fun things like this, which is also opening this up here, and collecting that. Still not able to use this in the fashion that I would prefer. This isn't uh, bad because it gets me a bomb, but I think I'm going to do this and get rid of these cubes because this will fall down and, and sink away. All right, I'll take the green bomb here. Try to match up those yellow. I still have this guy to get to. Oh, hello. Here we go. That looks good. Because the bomb is so much better than the Roman candle in that instance. And now I can do this. That looks pretty good. I'm starting to collect these now. And it's going more smoothly. So what if I did that? It doesn't quite bring this down. There's a red in the way. 
what if I do this? Well, that would bring it down if I go this way because it takes out the purple and it takes out the intervening red. So I allow that to drop. So hopefully I get more of these guys on the board. Nice. Now I can do this. It doesn't get rid of everything, but I can easily get rid of that yellow in the way. And that yellow, wow, that's nice. That's going to help me get both of these. And now I'm producing bombs more regularly, so I can always check to see if those bombs are going to be of assistance. And look at that. Exactly what I want. I want to be taking down at least one of these per turn if I can manage it at all. This one, not as easily done, but I can still try to make some chaos here. I'm going to do this to allow things to slide. There we go. That's looking kind of beautiful. To get this all the way down here, I need to target that guy. So, if I come this way, I kind of want to take this out, the one lower. And then I go up here. That'll be perfect. Look at all the stuff it gets. We get rid of both of those because they automatically open when they hit the metal. How do I not have cages on the board now? How am I missing that? <laughs> all right. Do I do this, which is a longer run, or do I come up around here? I'm going to do this and slide this out. It still is enough to get me a bomb. Oh, there we go. That worked because we got some nice cascading because I stayed over to the left and made that long approach. So that is how I beat this one. Let's go ahead and see what we get from our crates here. I'm going to go right across the middle. Lots of blue meteor mites. Oh, and some yellow. That's what I like. All right, that's it for me. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.